Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter 12 inch by 2 inch left hand side and right hand side never adjust electric trailer brake assemblies for a 6,000 pound axle. Now these are electric brakes so they're easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they'll require only an electric brake controller which we do sell separately on our website. There's no brake actuator or hydraulic lines necessary. Now these brake shoes are lined with a nice automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded to the shoe. It's not riveted so it gives a lot longer life, more braking torque. And these brake assemblies are never adjust brakes. They automatically adjust to deliver optimum performance and braking power. And the way you can tell if they're self-adjusting or never adjust brakes, usually you'll see this cable that will run down around the wheel and then connect to a lever that will automatically adjust the adjustment wheel down here. So when you see this cable, that's usually telling you it's a self-adjusting brake. So there's no need for any manual brake adjustments. Now when you do initially install these, you will have to do an initial brake adjustment, but then from then on as you drive it, it will automatically adjust it and proper adjustment will lead to better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. Also on the back of these I just wanted to show you at the very bottom there'll be two holes and those holes refer when you go to adjust your brakes you put your brake adjustment tool through there to adjust it. Usually they leave those holes open. On these you can see they've actually put these rubber adjusting plugs to cover those holes and to help keep dirt and grime off the brake assemblies and off your shoes. Also if you notice on the back you'll see the five brake mounting flange, the five bolt brake mounting flange bolt pattern. This will line up with the five hole or the five studs on your axle. You just slide this over the studs. Here it comes with the mounting hardware. Just use these nuts and the attached lock washers to tighten it down and hold your brake assembly to your axle. Now these parts are made in the USA. Application again is for most standard hub and drum assemblies including Dexter, Lippert and Alco. They do fit the axle rated at 6,000 pounds. And this does include a left hand assembly and a right hand assembly. And you might wonder how you could tell the difference in them. Well, when you get them new, they'll have a sticker and that'll tell you what side. But if that sticker wasn't on there, the best way to tell is you look at the length of the pad on the brake shoe. So this pad goes from here to here. This pad goes all the way from here all the way to here. This is a longer pad. This one's the shorter pad. The shorter pad will always face the front of the trailer. That's the primary shoe. So that's going to tell you that this is the right hand passenger side assembly. And this one will be the left hand driver side assembly. <clears throat> Dimensions on these are 12 inches by 2 inches. They call this a 12 inch by 2 inch brake assembly. And what they're measuring is the 12 inches the diameter. So it's measured from here all the way over to here. So there's your 12 inch diameter and the 2 inch will be the width of the pad. There's your 2 inch measurement on the pad. So these are 12 inch by 2 inch brake assemblies. They do require 12 inch brake drums and the wheel size that will fit on these is 14 and a half inch up to 16 and a half inch wheels. And these are electric brakes so you'll notice on the back there will be two white wires coming through that need to be connected. One goes to a brake feed, one goes to your ground, and they're both white wires so you can use either one for either function. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 12 inch by 2 inch left hand side and right hand side never adjust electric trailer brake assemblies for a 6,000 pound axle.